Drew Hill of the Daily Memphian yesterday reporting that the Grizzlies have made a hire. They've rounded out their coaching staff, filling that last vacancy in their coaching staff ahead of next season. And they've hired former Miami assistant Anthony Carter to fill that role. Uh, A couple of Miami news outlets confirmed that news. And Anthony Carter is somebody who was undrafted himself. Uh, had a 13-year playing career before transitioning into coaching in 2013 and has spent the last five years on Eric Spolstra's staff, two of those being primarily for player development. And he is the guy credited with developing Gabe Vincent and Max Struess. And so now you're looking at, okay, how can Anthony Carter develop some of these younger guys on the Grizzlies roster to be the next Gabe Vincent and Max Struess? And what the Grizzlies hope will obviously be a run to the NBA Finals, similar to what the Miami Heat experienced this year. And so you already have, if you're Memphis, you have your big three, you have Jaw, Jaron, and Dez, you have your starting five, you have your veteran players in a Marcus Smart, you have a Derrick Rose filling that role as well. And now it's a matter of, okay, who are these young guys going to be? Who's going to be your Max Struess, your Gabe Vincent? Is Zaire Williams going to take that next leap forward? Is Jake LaRavia going to fill out his role? I I think it's an exciting hire, and it's a perfect fit for Taylor Jenkins' bench. And obviously, so much gets made of heat culture. And one piece of heat culture does not, when you remove a piece from heat culture, it's not like that culture magically imparts its wisdom and all of its essence onto its new team. Um, But Anthony Carter was on the staff of a team that made it to the NBA Finals last year. So you continue to add in to these pieces who have been to the land where the Grizzlies hope to get. So I think it's a great hire and excited to see what he does. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And player development is is so huge, especially right now in the NBA, especially, particularly, excuse me, for smaller market franchises. You know, you're not going to be able to go out there and have the benefits of being in a large city, one of the glamour cities one of the glamour markets so you've got to be able to hit on draft picks and then when you hit on those draft picks you've got to be able to develop those guys you can hit on all the draft picks you want but if they're not being developed they kind of stall out they don't reach their full potential and right now the grizzlies have four or five young guys zaire roddy uh laravia and junior specifically that you could say, oh, there's something there with those guys. They've got a lot of potential. Now it's about actualizing that potential and going out there and get a coach who's helped players before actualize their potential. And Vincent and Struess, that's big for this team and this franchise. Uh, and even uh, a John Conchar, who continues to be on the roster. Conchar, the throw Conchar and in there also. Even looking now at someone like a Gigi Jackson, who coming out of this summer league, like Gigi Jackson is most likely going to play the majority of his time this season in South Haven developing with the uh, the hustle, but having the opportunity to have a coach who has proven success with development of players, particularly underlooked players, undrafted players, players taken low down in the NBA draft. Um, that's what you want from your player development system. And the Grizzlies have strived on taking a lot of uh, swings at guys who have, have worked. And now if you want to continue that track forward, this seems like a coach who can certainly help you continue in 